is going on guys wiser here coming to you with some of the recaps of the most recent wars for invicta uh we had a couple good matchups one was against this uh american clan nothing too too crazy it actually kind of gave up about two-thirds of the way through the war only used about 40 attacks but then we matched up against this clan called altars of war uh, and these guys were actually uh, pretty good, you know, overall. Some really nice bases, some really nice attacks. Uh, you know, one of those kind of up and you can tell they're an up and coming, uh, you know, really good three star strategy clan. Uh, just kind of getting their feet wet. Uh, struggled on some of our um, good anti three designs, but. Uh, overall, uh, we were we were pretty impressed with those guys. So let's just jump on over, check out this first one, Calventi Curse or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this American level nine clan, uh, like I said, they they kind of gave up. 43 or 60 attacks, but uh, big, big victory uh, for Invicta here. Check out kind of what happened. Two star heroes most of the way down. Just couldn't get her done. Uh, Invicta, twos on everything up there. Nice little TH10 trip. I think this was sort of a 9.5. I'm not going to show that one. I think there was only one level one Inferno on that base, but uh, then pretty much did diligence, miss base 20. And I think that was it. Yeah, that was it. So uh, jump in. I just want to start right off. I've got a bunch of replays. You know, these combined recaps can get a little lengthy. So just want to uh, keep her going here. Uh, got a little surprise for you at the end of this video, which I'm sure if any of you follow me on Twitter, you probably already know about. Uh, but do want to kind of finish this off because got to get this done and then uh, continue help planning for something that uh, just came up yesterday. Anyhow, we're going to start off number 18. That's what I had. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Good old Valen Frets. Um, so I forget what this base is called. I don't think this base is the general. I never know the names of the foreign bases, but Valen, I don't know. Th this is the exact way I have talked about attacking this style of base in the past multiple, 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 multiple times. Um, to me, this is the highest percentage attack against this base, right? When that queen is standing right in between smack dab, in between those two air defense, what do you do, guys? I can hear you all saying CC troops, Archer Queen. Two air defense. Boom. That means three Lava Hounds and 14, 15 Balloons in the back end. Poison goes down, letting everything in. Funnel is clean. Pushing everything right in between these two air defense. Right on top of this Expo. Defensive Queen is about to go down. Smack, smack, smack. Down she goes. Air defense one down. Air defense number two is down. <clears throat> Goal is a completed here. Objective completed. Lava Hound number one goes in. A few loons sprinkled in on all these defenses on the outside. Haste goes down to help push them into uh, into everything, keep things moving along. Another hound in on that air defense. Just two more balloons. Just just sandwiching this base, right? It doesn't stand a chance. All these defenses are so close together. As long as he's got those lava hounds in there tanking, no chance for this base whatsoever. Lava hound number three goes in. Now, my only critique of this attack, I would have sent that lava hound in substantially earlier. Um, and you're going to kind of see why it does not end up uh, popping here in time, I don't think. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. No, it does not. Uh, but as you can see, base is done ski. See you later, Wiz Tower. See you later, Tesla. Bam, bam, bam. Good old Shattered Lalo, guys. Remember, you're up in a war against these uh, symmetrical form bases. They're all very, very similar. In the same respects of, uh, you know, where the air defenses are placed, where the queen's placed. I mean, you can have this exact same base, but the queen could be offset in a different spot, right? So you wouldn't be able to go in from that angle, but um, just something to look for, guys. Beautiful tree in the bag for Valen. Uh, 16, Schizo. One of the few newer names uh, going on here in Invicta. I like seeing it. You know, Schizo's been a, been a big benefit to us since uh, we brought him up. Uh, you know, puts a lot of good planning, uh, has a really good three-star rate. So welcome, Schizo. Glad to have you, buddy. So you can see what he's doing here. He's got 14 Valks. I like this one because 14 Valks, 14 Balloons, right? What a very interesting uh, troop comp with double jump, double heal. So really going to take care of the Valks, right? Double heal, double jump, all going towards this little Valk army. So the parade is now in. Funnel is nice and big, just perfect with that. Only critique I noticed in this fight, or this raid poison should be down right here but no big deal got 14 valkyries in there just shredding up those cc troops about to lock on to that defensive queen in they go down goes that defensive queen instantly watch this core just melt valks under that heel pops that king ability core is done for now he had now the problem was on entry he got the one in, one air defense there were two more air defense in the core is now on top of air defense number four 
So clearly when you break 14 balloons for the back end and there's no air defense remaining, you still got a bunch of Valkyries running around in there. This base is done for. No chance whatsoever. So that Arch Tower, Wiz Tower goes down. We are looking good. Beautiful. Did lose his queen there. I was a little interested in that, but no big deal. It's treat in the bag for Schizo. Mmm, that coffee is good today. All right, what else I got here? Number 12. Number 12, Lime Killer. Lime and I were going over his base for a very special announcement to have at the end of this video. Uh, really good base builder Lime is actually. He sent me this base. I was really, really impressed. We made some tweaks to it and I think it's really going to hold up well in this war we, we, uh, we have ahead of us. Um, but you can see what Lime's going to do here. He's just creating his funnel, right? Basically all the way from 9 to 12. No chance of uh, any sort of problems. Jump spell goes down. Doesn't bring any wall breakers because doesn't need it. Has the second jump that's going to allow him into the queen chamber. Allow him into almost the rest of this base. Poison goes down. Take care of those minions and the dragon in the clan castle. Heal spell goes down. Just to kind of keep the Valks up, right? There's a lot of damage coming in there. Dragon's kind of spitting out some fire. He's got minions all over. Double giant bomb goes off. So really good idea to heal there. Um, unfortunately, this Tesla farm does do a little bit of work to him because the Valks get out ahead, right? See how quickly the Valks go down. But uh, no big deal, right? Hogs are now in, reinforced and everything, kind of on all angles. A couple more in on the Arch Tower, a couple more in on the Cannon. Nice, good patience on the on the Hog deployment here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now that Golem's in there doing tanking for the Tesla farm, so just perfect timing on the Hogs coming in. <coughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, but you see all like look at all the hogs left right gets the gets the double giant bomb there on the entry just perfect on everything here Really nice raid line loses a one to spring traps one two three four I think five Valkyrie still on the outside doing work Still has that golem in there trying to do some tanking. It's like I'm just so slow Valkyries are so fast stay behind me Yeah, that doesn't happen those redheads get excited <laughs> It's tree in the bag for lime nice job, buddy and number nine, good old Nina. <clears throat> so Nina is going in on this Town Hall 10. Uh, quite a few Town Hall 10 defenses, right? This the first level of cannons and archer towers has a, actually the second level of archer tower right there. Um, Town Hall 9 air defense. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, obviously the walls are skull walls, so... Uh, but other than that, mostly, you know, Town Hall 10 stuff going on in here. Um, so no uh, no joke whatsoever here for Nina. Pulls out that CC, right? Does not have poison here, so he's going to have to get this raid spell going down right away or hit the ability. I forget which one he does. I think the, yeah, it hits the ability. He's got to bust through that dragon, bust through those balloons. See you later. <clears throat> so uh, has cleared the funnels, cleared the CC now for uh, this little giant and Valk parade to come in. It's a big piece of this, right? You recognize on this part of the base, there's nothing, nothing on the outside up here. So it really just drops all the Valks. There's only one place for them to go, right into this base, right on top of that Inferno Tower. Uh, and that's kind of the key here. Uh, raid spell goes down, right under the Giants. Look how fast these Valks get in there and start just blowing everything up. Just look at this core melt. Look at it. Boom, 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 boom. Just blowing up left and right all over the place. Valks move right on through. Both Inferno Towers are down, so Queen's going to get big value under those heal, he, the healer down there. Changing to clean up. Just has to burst into this uh, larger compartment up there, so he sends in some back-end hogs now. Um, unfortunately, they do uh, fizzle out just a little bit too early there, but no big deal, because really, you look at this base, there's two Wizard Towers, an Archer Tower, and a Sweeper are the only defenses remaining. It has a bunch of trash to clear through, but... Base is done for. There's all these Valkyries down there now. I love how the heat, when the healers switch... Like at that perfect time, they switch off the uh, off the queen and onto the Valks. That's tree in the bag for Nina. Nice job, buddy. Sexy, sexy. All right, so that's enough of that war. Um, you know, good win, Invicta. Uh, nice to see all these 11s. You know, they did have quite the advantage on the 11s, but uh, nice to see that all cleaned up. Pinasar with the 95% uh, 
two star robots with the 88 percent sean sean 56 unique with the 97 percent so some of these are so close guys like 95 and 97 percent like those are both very very close to uh th11 versus th11 triples so guys are really on uh, on good tracks some really good planning and uh communication going on in invicta i kind of monitor and watch that stuff every day and just blown away by our town hall 10 group and 11 group down in invicta they do a lot of work down there for us so anyhow moving on altar of war just want to say level seven clan let's check out their clan information real quick first because these guys uh, deserve a little bit of props um you know associated with the altar family so i'm not 100 percent sure but go ahead check these guys out on youtube guys um you know they're very uh very organized up and coming uh good war clan uh they they definitely displayed some very good bases and you're gonna find out here why in a moment uh they did miss six attacks which obviously is a little concern for their side right you want to always try and get we missed one attack as well and that's that's never acceptable over at one hive we uh missed attacks you better have a damn good reason to miss an attack when you're in a hardcore war clan that's just that's the minimum expectation right guys so um, stuff like that does happen. We know real life happens, stuff happens, but, um, you know, obviously six attacks could have put it within perspective there, right? Cause if you look a lot of nines left over, they did struggle on the nines. I think that was really the downfall. Um, you know, learning, learning how to clear those nines for your tens is such an important piece. You can see, uh, Victa did an awesome job on their 11s there, twos on everything. Got a three star there. A three star there. Well, that was a bully, but whatever. Uh, another three star there, and then you go into the nines. Now here is my here's my comments. Boom. One, two, three, four, five. Five uh, nines got missed. Actually, um, not a huge deal because of the difference in the score. But uh, you know that's never ever okay uh coming from us we always want to clear those nines up uh when we do not we feel as town hall nines we failed for a town hall tens because then we just got to promote bully tax now in this case we were able to still just go for some th10 triples because we did have the war in hand however um you know always something to keep in mind right we always want to clear that stuff up so anyhow real quickly down to the bottom very new ish uh addition to invicta but definitely not a new addition to the one hive 2.0 family Ares <clears throat> like this attack because when you look at the troop comp you see the one balloon you see three valkyries you see you know one giant you can tell the troop comp was very 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 customized to this base um you know one for one trade on that arch tower is fantastic for that balloon so i really like that Eris. uh opens up that wall nice and clean you know looks at that little junction that's not two spaces out knows is gonna know uh, she's gonna get uh both uh of those compartments open then drop a jump spell on here now the beautiful um part of this attack uh there's a max valix come out of that cc too is the jump spell here boom so one dgb taken care of and then everything's gonna hop on over into this core soon as that sweeper goes down and everything goes now the lava hound is what it is right i'm not a huge fan of lava hounds in the cc anymore because valkyries do not care about lava hounds and realistically defending valkyries right now is pretty much the thing to do at uh town hall nine <clears throat> you know the govaho was already super super uh uh powerful and now it's even more powerful but Nice hog deployment here, right? Just being very patient. Few hogs in all around. Heal spells goes down, goes down, getting both golems and the king in there. And I think there's even a Valkyrie in there helping out. But just too many hogs now for the couple defenses remaining. It's clearly going to be tree in the bag. You know, Eris only has level 15, level 17 heroes, which is a huge, huge deal, guys. Because, you know, once you start getting accustomed to the level 25 plus heroes, you forget what it was like you know having to having to figure out how you're going to get the right push with those those lower level heroes it's not the easiest thing to do and uh, i know when i went back to war with my friends clan on, on a mini account i have uh that has like level 13 heroes it's tough <laughs> you you know you expect your kill squad to get get your goals well <laughs> they get half your goals because they're half the levels and it's tough it's a really tough adjustment so a lot of props to, to uh guys who uh and gals i should say to uh that do these three star hits with level 15 heroes because uh it is not the easiest thing in the world to do that's for sure so tree in the bag for eris nice job uh what's next go up a bit uh 12 <laughs> 
Mm -mm -mm. Hin Raka. <coughs> so I think Hin brings four golems here. Um, not sure what he saw in the planning that was like, hmm, I'm going to bring four golems this time. However, it's uh, completely, I think he brings four golems. Maybe maybe it's Valx in the CC. I don't know. We're going to have to check this out. Watch too many attacks today. So two golems are down. Yeah, four golems. Now, uh, poison goes down, kind of helping everything, right? So two fresh golems, right? These golems haven't even been touched. Now they're going to get into this core and just continue to, to tank for all of this stuff. Has a raid spell and a heal spell for the hogs. So down goes that rage. Going to get good value just right on the edge of his queen. Like perfect, perfect rage placement in there, uh, Henny boy. Uh, heal spell goes down probably a touch late. You were kind of looking at your kill squad there, and there's only two hawks remaining under that heal spell. Um, but whatever, no big deal. Wanted to get that air defense down. That was the most important part of that because it already has the other three air defense down via the kill squad, and 13 balloons are coming in off this back end. Now, the only concern for this is... This little chicky poo is still up in her chamber, live and well. Sees all these balloons coming in, is like, oh, easy pickings for me. And I take down these balloons, gonna w step on over and not lock on to these golems just in time because his queen is like just perfect timing on everything there, right? Uh, queen steps up, takes out the defensive queen, still has those golems in there doing work, tanking both those Teslas, tanking the Wiz Towers, right? The, the, the balloons are just gonna be too much. Gonna take down those Teslas just in time. Down it goes. Oh, not quite. So really, the Arch Tower is the only thing to go, but still has the Golemites in there helping out. Has Wizards on either side. I think four Wizards are up right now, kind of doing cleanup all around the base. And if you look, there's all this high hit point stuff all in this one little kind of section, basically from six to four, right? Like, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus that Town Hall just went down for nine of the highest hit point uh, structured buildings. And if you think about it, I think you only have four, eight, nine... I think you only have 10, right? You got four elixir storages, four gold storages, your DE storage for nine, plus your town hall for 10. I guess your clan castle would be 11, which was up there, but no big deal, right? Queen's about to step up. Now, no, sorry, my bad. Instead of going and attacking that archer tower that is clearly, let's see, three, six, eight spaces away from her, she decides to beat on that wall to get to that gold mine that's on the outside, but too late. Wizard gets there first. Definitely tree in the bag for Henny Boy. That Archer Queen did nothing for the last, like, 30 seconds other than attack walls. <laughs> so ridiculous sometimes. Uh, okay, 10. Good old McGravy. Got big news for this guy. Gravy has done so much work for us down in Invicta. He's been, you know, very, very good at being our uh, Town Hall 9 War General. Um, you know, co-leader, really helps lead this clan to what it is today. And definitely felt uh, we wanted him up in 2.0. He has quite the passion for the game that we really, really want up there with us in 2.0. I think he's going to bring a lot to the plate for us. So uh, congrats, my friend, on your promotion. Well, well, well deserved, absolutely. And we're excited to have you up there because your energy and your passion for this game are uh, are something that, that we need right now up there because, uh, you know, it just happens, right? Like guys play this for long enough, they, they kind of lose a little bit of that passion at times and I get it. I mean, I've been there myself, right? I mean, I, you know, I got, I, I got a new job just recently. Obviously my focuses were kind of taken away a little bit and I get that it's happens. Real life happens. Um, but there's just this little thing, like I'm still very passionate about the game. I still love doing these recaps. I love planning. Um, you know, it was more of a matter of, of a time crunch thing, but some guys will just, you just start to get bored of it a little bit. And I get that, but, um, that's not exactly what we need, you know, that, that's not what, what you're in 2.0 for, and uh, not saying by any means there's a lot of guys like this, but there are a couple, you know, that are just kind of, kind of log on, do their attacks, not very active, um, not only in the chats, but in game, and just in a lot of aspects, so... Uh, we really think uh, some of these promotions we just took up from Invicta gonna rejuvenate the uh, the chatter or whatever you want to say the uh, the social aspect of 2.0 and uh, really get uh, get things moving again. So really excited to have that, guys. Uh, Hogs now in Grady. Now um, I remember talking to Grady about this attack. I was really surprised he didn't just drop the heal here. I think he thought there was a DGB here, so he didn't want to waste his heal. However. It's only a single bomb. If he had just healed here, if a heal spell is down right now, this bomb wouldn't have done anything. 
Hogs would have just kept going right through and he could have reinforced on the back end. So at this point, Grady's like, ah, shit. <laughs> right? Kind of just looking at it like, okay, what do I do? Backup plan. Queen's taking fire. Only has two healers left. So let's get that rage down on her to keep her alive. Now I'm going to send these hogs in under that heel. Take care of those three defenses up there. Even though he only has five hogs, right? They're still going to take care of those defenses. Queen steps up, takes the expo. Queen steps up, takes the archer tower. Just got to take care of that cannon and sweeper, which five hogs are going to handle. No problem. And boom. Tree in the bag for my friend McGravy. Good job, buddy. Okay, and last but certainly not least, chat. <clears throat> Going in on this uh, very well developed Town Hall 10. Uh, really good mini placement going on all over, all over, right? Just kind of getting those free buildings for the six troop space, or sorry, eight troop space, four buildings for, for eight troop space. So good job with that. Holy cats, settle down. Jeez. So, really easy funnel on the outside here. Gets all these Valks right in. Free spell goes down. Might have been a little off in the freeze. Could have waited one more second, got all the CC troops, but no big deal, right? So, healers are in on top of the Valks. This is a very important thing. They're on top of the Valks and on top of the King. He does start losing healers a little bit, but look, they stay alive. He gets those air defense down. Those two other air defense are right on the back end. So, they're healing this King right back up. King is still at full health under that ability. It now locks onto the golem. It's going to keep that golem alive while these Valks and Queen just continue to work around the outside. <clears throat> Got a, a few escort wizards there as well. Valks are going to continue to do tanking. Finally, that uh, the healer goes down, but that golem has been kept alive for so long now. It's allowed these Valks to just bust through this compartment, get right in here. They're going to trigger that bomb, then work through these defenses. King is now over on the outside here. Finally is about to go down. Just a couple more shots. Down goes the king, but no big deal. Has three Valks in there. Queen has now made her way all the way around. Queen is easily going to mop this stuff up. Beautiful. Of course, she locks on to the Lava Hound. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get that poison down. No big deal. <laughs> three Valks still alive. Cannon goes down. Swag ability. Nice job, chat. It's a sexy, sexy tree. All right. So... Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, well, sorry, quickly, Alter War, guys, keep it up. You know, you guys uh, had some really nice base designs and uh, some pretty decent attacks coming our way. So keep keep working at it. Uh, and definitely, uh, definitely, you're, you guys are going to be up there because uh, we, we struggled on some of your base designs. And that's the first and most important thing, right? Learning to build the bases and then learning how to hit the bases at the same time. So best base builders are the best attackers right because you can just find those exploits that you would normally not put in your own bases that you'll pick out in other bases and, uh, and just do a good job so anyhow let's check things out oops not what i wanted to do this is what i wanted to do oh what do we have here one hive invicta versus one hive 1.0 this was actually a sniped arranged matchup so it's kind of nice actually we have uh one we got a few few 2.0 guys in there. Myself, Dirty Italian, and Caddick, I believe. Obviously, Gravy just got promoted, but he was going to be in the scrim. Anyways, so, you know, we got a few a few 2.0 guys in there. Our fearless leader, Mouthpiece, is over here joining us. So, th th we're in for a doozy here. I mean, obviously, 1.0 um, is definitely going to be the favorites here. You know, you got guys like veterans like Crispy over there, Aduce and Megan. Obviously, Jake the man and ASAP, Ozzy, all these guys. Trigger man. You know, back uh, back when we were a sister clan, I did have talked to a few of these guys on uh, on our old um, sorry team speak chat and some really stand up guys. You know, they they plan their stuff out. Hockey down there, right? <laughs> so we are in for a doozy. And good old Bella, I got Bella on Twitter. A few of these guys on Twitter. Um, we're in for a doozy. We do have one extra town hall eleven, so that is a huge advantage. Now, they do have two extra 9.5s. Now, those obviously don't, I think, sorry, I think Warren and this Jake, I don't know which Jake is which, unless they're both Jakes, I don't know. But um, I think 12 and 11 are 9.5s, and so we have an extra 11, and they have two extra 9.5s. So obviously, the 11 is probably the better advantage to have. So other than that, I, I think I'm pretty safe to say it is going to be a pretty close 
even matchup here. Um, we are pumped, absolutely pumped. We're going for gold here. Uh, gonna really do our best to, uh, oh, of course I just showed the CC troops, but this video is not gonna be over out until this war is over, so who cares? Um, anyhow, uh, 1.0, good luck, my friends. Uh, this is going to be a doozy. Hope we give you some good adversity here because, uh, you know, we are, we are pumped. We've been building bases all night. Uh, I was up super late helping a lot of guys with their bases and, uh, and just talking about a lot of stuff and some strategy going on. So, uh, 1.0 cheers. I raise my, uh, raise my morning coffee to you and looking forward to this war. Anyhow, guys, that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree star until then I'm out.